Well, hello, Living Word Church and those viewing, welcome. My name is Tyler Brondike. I'm minister here. And at this point, if you're watching this video, uh, you've either jumped to the end of our series or you are so excited about the How to Read the Bible series that you wanted to stick around for some additional resources. And so throughout uh, the time in the, in, the, in the last videos, uh, you've learned more about how to read the Bible. If you're still curious, in fact, for, for all of us as lifelong learners and students of God's Word, uh, there's some, uh, some resources that we can use uh, that are helpful. So in front of me, I have a stack of different books that are uh, useful or could be useful for you in your, jour your journey. And so uh, I'd say possibly the largest one I have here is called Grasping God's Word. This is by Duval and Hayes. Um, hands-on approach to reading, interpreting, and applying the Bible. Um, and so as we journey through, um, it talks about uh, just how to read the, the, the Bible in its historical cultural context, literary context, looking at certain words and doing a word study, uh, what type of meaning we can find in Scripture. There's a, a very plain meaning, but there's also a deep, rich meaning that uh, invites us into the world um, of the, the ancient day. Um, here we have the application. Then we look at the difference between the New Testament Gospels, uh, the book of Acts, then we get into the epistles, Revelation, um, and obviously we get into some Old Testament work as well, and the various segments um, of the Old Testament. And so you get to do a, a deeper study. There's this book here. If you want to have a bigger understanding of the whole uh, totality of God's Word, oftentimes we read small passages, but there's certainly a benefit of knowing how the passage fits into the bigger book of the Bible. A bigger book of the Bible within a small passage, um, its category, so for example, Proverbs would be in the wisdom literature, um, and then even larger, the wisdom literature is part of the Old Testament. The Old Testament is part of the Bible. God's Big Picture, Tracing the Storyline of the Bible by Von, Will, uh, Von Roberts is uh, a helpful book as well. Um, it's only about 150 pages um, and goes through uh, the Old Testament into the New Testament and gives a, a better explanation. Now we have the Jesus Storybook Bible um, by Sally Lloyd-Jones. Um, this is, uh, as you can see, the Storybook Bible. This is for kids, children. There's a lot of illustrative pictures, so if, you're, if you like that, that visual um, application to see kind of the words on the, on the page and how they are represented through image, uh, this provides a very helpful tool for kids and, in fact, for adults as well to get a fresh look um, on the Bible. Now, a couple additional resources. We have a student study Bible, and so this one, you can order these online, Amazon, um, various Christian book distributors, um, uh, you know, you, you have your, your pick here. Uh, this is a student study Bible, and so really you open it, and below, um, I, don't know, I don't know if you can fully zoom, but what you'll see here is that there'll be text. At the bottom, there's little uh, context, and so it gives a little bit of explanation into um, what is being described. And so oftentimes we, we read the Bible and like, wow, this is so much I would love to know what this means. This gives us a little insight without overwhelming us. Again, it's called a study Bible. This is a student study Bible. They have various different kinds. This here is uh, an ESV student study Bible by Crossway. We have another study Bible. This one is quite large. This is an ESV study Bible for you know those who are adults or um, would prefer something a little bit larger. I have one of these. Um, a lot of folks here at our church have these. It's big, some cool kind of nice glossy uh, gold coating here, not actual gold, but um, again, similar concept to the ESV student Bible, but this uh, is, for, is built for adults. And so uh, the language will reflect that as well in the explanation. It'll um, even, some of them will have maps as well. And so uh, really cool. Again, this is an ESV study Bible as well. Um, aside from these, there are plenty of other resources. Um, perhaps uh, you, you have some that you'd recommend. Feel free to share them with us. We'd love to hear what those are um, and, and get to know how you're studying the Bible and coming to greater appreciation 
uh, and knowledge of God's word as God is continuing to, to live and breathe among us um, today. And so thank you so much for your time. And if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to reach out to us, uh, to our team um, by email or coming to church on Sunday. Uh, and you can um, share any questions, comments you have. Thank you.